Today we will be making a low poly human in Blender, much like the one you see here. Are you doing a tutorial or something? Yeah, I'm making a tutorial. On what you doing? On what? How to make a low poly human in Blender. Oh. So anyways, we're going to start off with the basic cube here. We're going to go over here. We're going to add a modifier. Make sure it's subdivision surface. And now you see it's a good shape for a low poly character's head. I'm gonna bring this up. And now we're gonna enter edit mode using tab. Now this might be easy, but some of you might not know how to do this, so I'm using tab, just so you know. Now you will use control R to make a cut in the middle. R to make a so yeah. Press Control R, then click, then press Escape to get a perfect cut in the middle. So then you're gonna want to drag. You're gonna want to take this. Make sure you have the Move tool selected. So now that you have this selected, you're gonna want to drag this down. And now we have like a good looking head. It's pretty good if I do say so myself. So press tab to exit out of this mode. And now we're gonna work onto the body. So yeah, um, for this we are gonna have to create another another cube. Now we're gonna wanna stretch it up a bit. I'm gonna stretch it up. And then you are going to want to make a couple cuts. I'll show you how to do that. So first we're going to want to go into edit mode for this item or object. Um, and you are going to want to do another control R. And here and... And you're going to want to do it in the middle. So, this is going to be like the hips, I guess. You're going to want to slightly drag this in. Like so. And there you have your nice looking body. Now you don't have to do this, but I raised, I made the, the like, squares go a bit further in. Then you are going to want to add a cylinder for a neck, for the bottom of the neck. You can use a cone. And then for the arms and legs, you can also use cylinders. And that's pretty much all you need to do. And congratulations, you've made a 3D model of a human. Congrats, he's so awesome. Now you can import him into your Unity games. Like I did here. Here's the player and stuff. So yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. Anyways, that's all I have to say. Bye!